Now don't be touching stuff. How are you doing, Dad? Oh, about as good as can be expected, Darlene. So do you think they'll give us the credit? I think they should. I mean, our credit is in the hole, but yeah, they should give us something. I mean, it's your mother's funeral we're talking about. It's not like we're wanting a loan so we can go buy a new jet ski. <laughs> well, if not, I can cash in those savings bonds I have. No, Darlene, this is my wife. I will handle it. Hi, I'm your Aunt Jackie. Now, I know you all probably have a lot of questions, so your cool Aunt Jackie is here if you need to talk or... Okay, Dan, I ran your credit check, and I'm sorry, but it's not good news. It's kind of what we were talking about before, and you know, a lot of people are experiencing this, and we are really sorry, but we're not going to be able to bury Mrs. Connor. You just can't afford it at this time. What do you propose we do then? Wait until you put her on the curb and then collect her along with all of your aluminum cans? Because, yeah, we collect cans now. That's the kind of people the Connors are. <laughs> A lot of people are experiencing this. Have you considered a refrigerator box? <laughs> no. Have you considered just throwing your hands up and going home? You know, you can't win them all. <laughs> uh, this is our mother you were talking about. This is the woman that taught me how to make people think you're working hard when all you're really doing is just sitting on your ass. <laughs> That's something I would know nothing about. <laughs> the only way we could possibly secure you a line of credit is if you make a sizable down payment, and then we can put you on a payment plan which will include a high interest rate. Uh, and what if we can't make the payments on time? Will you repossess her faux silk net pillow? <laughs> I mean, it's that or nothing. Little, little Becky, remember that time your mom was driving us home from the straight fair and you had to ride in the back with me and you ended up getting crabs? <laughs> uh, you, you know, Becky, I never told you this, but those crabs were given to me by Elvis. <laughs> Well, the last one passed away last Wednesday, so I guess we all have something in common here. <laughs> Dad, listen, I know Walmart.com sells caskets. I mean, if their food is good enough to give us high blood pressure, heart disease, and an increased risk of stroke, then by God, their caskets are good enough for us to be buried in. Plus, the seal top ensures we'll stay fresh on our journey to heaven. <laughs> Just like coffee! <laughs> no! Roseanne deserves better than a discount scratch and dent casket. This is my last chance to do something nice for your mother. To give her what she deserves. You know, I could never take her on a nice vacation or buy her a fancy dress. Hell, I mean, I couldn't even take her out to a fancy dinner. I'll find the money somehow. Well, look at it this way. With the big R being dead, now with all the money you save on food, you will be able to pay for the funeral in no time. So Nancy, that's where we're at. I really hate to ask. I have a job lined up, but it doesn't start until next month. Dan, Dan, don't be like that. Roseanne was my earth goddess. She was like a sister to me. I want to help, but I did just put a lot of money into this tarot card thing. They, they're, they're classes, so you know, I am really dry at the moment. Maybe that's why Arnie ran out on you. <laughs> Dan, listen, maybe I can read your cards and tell you the direction you should go. Well, I can see where the door is, Nancy. 
I want to help. Is there anything else I can do? I can make a Jello to bring. Crystal already brought Jello and her pot roast. Well, what are you going to do then? You do what you have to do. I guess I'm gonna sell the drywall business to Chucky. Oh. <laughs> Oh god, that that's Roseanne, all right. You just never. Oh, oh Roseanne. DJ, would you would you like to say something to your mother? She looks like she's sleeping. Maybe we should poke her with something. N no, no, we're not we're not going to do that. <laughs> say something nice, DJ. Bye. How are you doing, Darlene? Better now knowing that dad was able to get the money. I just hate that he had to sell his drywall business. I mean, that's the only thing he had going. I, I know, but you do things like that when people die, Darlene. Hi, Crystal. Hi, hi Jackie. Sorry Lonnie couldn't make it. I'm so pissed off with him right now. A while back, he got into that crystal meth. He said he stopped, but then last weekend, I caught him going through my purse, stealing my money again. I'm at my wits end with that child. <laughs> Dan, Dan, I, w I wanted you to know I'm here for you. If you ever get to that place where you are missing Roseanne sexually, I'm just one phone call away, okay? <laughs> Thanks, Nana Mary. Hard pass! <laughs> well, can't blame a woman for trying! <laughs> We are here today to lay to rest Mrs. Roseanne Connor. I've spoken to many of her friends and family members, and she was a force of humor and a force of possibility and strength. Roseanne could shine a light on the darkest of objects and path. Roseanne was the glue that kept things together and the oil that kept things running smoothly. <laughs> Take a bath, Mark. Harris, help him run the water. She looked good. But who's gonna tell Ida Marie she's not gonna get that dress back she loaned us? <laughs> I have to check the kids. They are probably fighting again. Jackie, I know you came around a lot here for Roseanne because she was your sister. Are, are you still going to come around? Oh, Dan, Dan, Roseanne was my sister, but you were my family too. You, you're my brother. Of course I'm still going to come around. You can't get rid of Aunt Jackie that easy. And you still have dirty laundry to wash. <laughs> as long as I have dirty laundry, I'll be here. You know, I just look around here and everything is a reminder. One day at a time, Dan. The more things change, the more they stay the same. I read that on a self-help pamphlet once. It, it didn't help. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Harris and Mark were fighting again. I guess one of them turned the water on full blast and was splashing. There's always fighting in this house. But you know what? There's also a lot of love, too. So, sorry, sorry you had to sell the drywall business, Dan. Ah, uh, things happen. Besides, Chucky has been so flush with all the work he's been getting lately, he about broke my arm to take the offer. I had him over a barrel. How much did you get? A cool 5k? Okay, so I was over the barrel, and one might say, contrary to what Anne Marie says down at Art's Beauty Salon, Chucky is not a tender lover. <laughs> Damn, that's all you got for the entire drywall business? Did it at least cover the funeral expenses? The funeral was more. Much more. Damn. I, well, I think it's good that you sold the drywall business, Dan. We got it, Darlene. This is Lanford, and even in this shape, in Lanford, we aren't living. We are thriving. No one has anything in this town. Not even a flat screen TV. <laughs> well, I mean, it's good because now you can do other things. You could start up for Ace Construction again or work on the boat. The, the world is your oyster, Dan. Roseanne threw that boat out years ago. Well, you can just build a new one. You know, restarting four aces isn't a bad idea, though. I still have a lot of contacts. 
Well, see, you know, maybe I'll jump on board and help out. I have a lot of business know-how. Remember, Roseanne and I were business women when we started the lunchbox. Pass! <laughs> Did you see Leon at the funeral? He said he was opening a new diner at the new mall. He asked if I wanted to be a waitress or something. That's good. You know, you know, we, we could all use some financial help right now. Roseanne's dead. I don't know how, but we'll all make it. Yeah, think of it this way. None of us have to answer to anyone anymore. You can change the furniture. You can build a boat, jump into a new business. Darlene can do what she wants with her life. She, she can be a waitress, and I can do what I want. I can date who I want without having to clear it with her. And, you know, say, oh, gee, what would Roseanne think about this? We can run our own lives now. It's going to be fun. Yeah, but with her doing it all these years, none of us know how to do it ourselves. <laughs>